What's up, YouTube? What's going on? All right. All right, today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to set up your note repeat in Ableton Live for the, the MPC control. All right. So, I don't know if y'all checked out my last video, but in my last video I showed you how to set up the MPC to kind of like re-trigger the samples back into the MPC VST so if you want to check that one out and get that set up um, I'm gonna have to go through it a little bit I wanted to start from scratch really so you can get an idea of how to set this up right all right so first thing we're gonna do we're just go ahead and drop a MPC in here VST that in okay now we'll go ahead and load up a load up a program real quick let me get some sounds in here uh, let's see right. baby thug street kit it's like a lot of these kits man I just kind of pretty much like I buy a lot of kits, a lot of sounds and stuff I found on the internet and I kind of like put stuff together. So right now we're triggering, triggering inside the, inside the VST, right? All right, so we'll go through this real quick to get this set up again. All right, once again, we're going to go to controller mode or MIDI control mode. All right, and unfortunately you have to do this every time because it doesn't seem to save as um, let's say you save a template you want to open up all the time and it it doesn't really save once you go to MIDI controller mode you have to do this every time so just navigate to your MP, MPC content folder wherever you got that and then right here you're gonna to go to MIDI control scenes and this this file right here classic mpc let's go ahead and click that and that's that's what's going to allow you to re-trigger back into the mpc vst and it also allows you to record your midi inside ableton um if you take a look at my last video i kind of went through that so let's see also let's hit the record and Alright, so now we're triggering back into the MPC, right? Back into the MPC VST. Got a couple hi hats up there. Okay, now we're gonna get into the uh, note repeat. Alright, so what you're gonna do is let's go ahead and get rid of this because we don't need to really see this. Alright. Still got all our sounds there. It's still triggering back into. Let's see if I. I'm gonna do this real quick. If I go ahead and record, see we got MIDI notes recording here, and normally that doesn't happen. So like I said, check out my last video and that explain how to set that up. All right. Let's get rid of that. Okay. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do. We're gonna go in here. Where is it? MIDI effects, all right? And we're gonna throw a pe arpeggiator in here, right? Okay, and this is basically how we're gonna set this up. I don't know if I can switch that over. But this is gonna be on the NPC. You see, we got MIDI triggering here, right? See that? All right. So on this one, we'll start off with just this one. This is a uh, eighth note. Right. Okay. So first thing you're gonna do, um, style. We're gonna change the style to chord trigger. And what that's gonna do, that's gonna allow you to. It's gonna allow you to play more than one pad at the same time. Right. So. See that. Okay, now, um, 
we always don't want that to be on at all times, right? Sometimes we just want to say if I just want to hit the drum pads, nothing play it. Because yeah, that's because the, that's the arpe arpeggiator is always on. All right, so what we're really going to do is we're going to uh, we're going to set a MIDI um, to turn this on and off, right? So we'll go up here to your um, top right corner and turn your MIDI on. Okay, and then we're going to assign this on off right here. This is like the activated and deactivated, right? So we're going to click that and assign it. And then on your control, you're going to assign it uh, a button. What I use, I use these numbered buttons over here. Because there's really nothing to sign it. I mean, it's MIDI control, but it's kind of convenient. That way you can set up a bunch of them if you want. So I'm going to just go ahead and push 1, assign that to 1. All right. Now we'll turn the MIDI uh, back off. So now when you hit 1, you can kind of hold it. You hold it down just like you do your note repeat. See, now it's off. You can drum your pads just like you want, or you can hold your 1 down, and that turns on the arpeggiator. So now, you got, now you got a note repeat there, right? That's pretty cool. Okay, so let's say we want to set up we want to set up multiple note repeats for different note rates, right? So let's let's go ahead and drop another one in here. We'll double click that. Drop another one in, right? Style, we're going to go to chord trigger, same thing. All right, and this is the rate. We're going to change it to whatever you want it to be. If you want it to be, let's say, a 16th note, right? So now we got that one. Alright, so that's on. We'll go up here to MIDI again. Assign our activator. Right here, this button here. Click that, and then we'll assign this one to number two. Alright. So that's done. So now we got. Our pad is on. And if we hold down two, we got a 16th note repeat, right? pretty dope okay now another little trick when you start setting up multiple versions of these arpeggiators um, you're gonna want to turn the gate up to a hundred I don't know if um, you go more than a hundred it's gonna affect it different but what this is gonna do this is gonna allow you to pretty much step up from a, let's say from an eighth note to a sixteenth note. Yeah, it allows you to step up. So let's say I'm holding the eighth note, right? I can continue to hold the, the number one for my eighth note, and then at the same time, I'll come in with my sixteenth note, and it'll give me sixteenths. Then I can let the sixteenth go, and it'll go back to eighth note. So if we do it like that, let's do it with a hi hat. So we got the eighth note hi hat, and this is all—it's on the one twenty BPM. I just open up a fresh uh, project or whatever. So we got an eighth note, and if we we're holding it down, we go ahead and hit the second one for your sixteenth note. You know what I mean? That's that's pretty cool in my book, you know. So, I mean, you can continue to go ahead and set up more of these. Let's go ahead and set up another one. And the way this is set up, it doesn't say this rate. It doesn't say triplet note, but you get the idea. It's multiples of three. So you got a one-third, and then you got a one, one six sixth <laughs> and then you got a one twelfth i think the one twelfth is the eighth note triplet so let's set that one up for one twelfth all right we'll come here chord trigger 
Let's turn the gate up to 100. And now, oh, we got to assign that one. So MIDI, hit this button here to assign it. And we'll do that one number three. And you can pretty much set these up pretty much any way you want to, you know what I mean, according to your style and, you know, how you like to trigger your um, your uh, note repeats. You know, if you like to go from triplets to sixteenths or whatever, you can set them in a row or you can you can pretty much set it up any way you want here. So now we got a we got an eighth triplet. You know what I mean? That's 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 dope right there. All right. So I mean, you can you can just keep on going, adding arpeggiators for each each one you want. You know, if you want sixty fourth note, um, you want the sixteen triplets, eight triplets, uh, quarter note triplets, or whatever. However you want to go, you can go crazy with it and add all your arpeggiators. Okay. And then what I would do here, let's let's. Um, kind of like drop that down. So we got them all here. Um, I hold shift and kind of select all of these. We'll do a right click and group group all of them. So once you group all of them, you can put them, you know what I mean, kind of group them all together there. Then once you group them all together, you can actually save... If you come right here, you can save this preset. So you come here and save it, and you can name it uh, MPC Note Repeat or whatever your note repeat you you know whatever you want to name it, and that way you already have it set up. That way, when you drop your VST your MPC in here, you can you can click that and throw it in, and it'll already be set up exactly like this. So now, that's pretty cool. So let's just go ahead and record something right quick. So there you go. That's that. So if y'all got any questions, uh, comments, man, leave them in the comments below. Like this post, subscribe, and try to do some more. I think I'm going to do a part two where we just do one arpeggiator. So look out for that coming soon. Um, I might go ahead and upload both of these at the same time, part one and part two. But until then, thanks. Peace.